sun is the oil floating on the ground. How to develop and use it. This is a Gobi, this is a desert, and here is a land to be developed. Hong Kong Asia Pacific Mega Trade Limited created the fifth generation Liang light condenser. The synchronous rotation in something angle can be trailed easily by the Liang condenser field, while the reflector only tracks the sun's pitch angle and calculates the reflector's rotation speed and the curve of the angle shifting. The guide rails are made into a uniform length. When the linkage device drives the same stroke, each reflector has a different rotation. The core technology is the guide rail calculation, and the arcs of the guide rails are different. Hong Kong Asia Pacific Mega Trade Limited conducted a 24-shot short-focus Micro R Liang Condenser Model Electronic Control Linkage Test on September 15 in Shund District, Foshan, Guangdong Province, China, and a 420 degrees Celsius high temperature was obtained during the condenser test, which was suitable for solar thermal power generation. The cost of the fifth generation Liang condenser is reduced because the materials are mainly hardware brackets, reflectors, guide rails, and a stepping motor is used to drive the one millimeter steel wire to link all the reflectors to track the sun's pitch angle. The cost of the concentrator is reduced to around 80 US dollars per square meter. Due to its overall tilting of 15 to 20 degrees design, the fifth generation Liang condenser is suitable for the high latitude areas and could be used to improve the heat collection performance of the condenser field in the morning and afternoon. The solar collector of the fifth generation Liang condenser is characterized by the suspension design of the column beam which is used for series connection of multiple solar connector pipes to achieve the larger scale. The solar collector is located above the middle of the condenser field, which is convenient for condenser field cleaning. The solar collector of the fifth generation Liang condenser is a suspension design of the column beam. Another feature is the addition of a greenhouse glass roof on the construction of many column beams. A century artificial greenhouse based on solar energy then formed. The artificial greenhouse adapts to the solar thermal power generation climate in the high latitude areas, realizes solar thermal power generation and effectively utilizes the abundant light in the high latitude areas to develop greenhouse agriculture. Solar thermal power generation and greenhouse agriculture can effectively achieve the solar thermal power generation and waste heat utilization. The glass roof of the greenhouse forms a large rain collecting area. The solar condenser reduces the damage from wind, sand, rain, snow, dust and hail. In this way the cost is reduced. Automatic cleaning equipment and catch basin are installed on the top of the artificial greenhouse. Due to the outdoor temperature difference, the condensed water area in the glass is formed by water vapour. A blowing device is installed under the top of the greenhouse. Therefore the condensed water is collected on the catch basin for reuse. The artificial greenhouse effectively utilizes the air cooling equipment of the photothermal power generation device to warm or preserve the heat of the greenhouse. At the same time, the condensed water mentioned above is reused. Waste heat can be utilized for the warming and heat preservation during cloudy days. Large-scale greenhouse land upgrades the agricultural industrialization. The greenhouse working environment optimizes the employment environment of agricultural work. High-end college students can be attracted to carry out mechanical automation and industrialized agriculture. The vast and low-cost land is suitable for the development of eco-industry. The solar thermal power generation could be supplemented by CCHP, combined cooling, heat and power, to meet the local demand. For the solar thermal power generation, the polarized light and abandoned light during part of the time can directly reflect the solar energy out of the atmosphere and then cool the Earth.